I'm Bonnie Muirhead with BonnieAppetit.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a shrimp, avocado and couscous salad. Okay, so first thing we got to do is cook our couscous. If you've never worked with couscous before, it's actually a pasta, but uh, people sometimes think it's a little grain. It's little bits of pasta. I'm using a whole wheat couscous today because it has a little more fiber, so it's better for us. So I've brought a cup of water to boil with a little bit of olive oil, and I'm just going to throw a cup of couscous right in there, and once we throw it in, we get to turn it off and cover it up. Dump it in here. Turn off the heat. Give it a swirl around just to make sure all the couscous is evenly covered. And we're just going to let that sit and steam for a minute. Okay, so while our couscous is cooking, we're going to get our, the rest of our ingredients ready. So I have some cooked shrimp. It's been peeled and deveined, and I actually bought it this way, and it's okay to do that if you don't want to worry about cooking raw shrimp. And now I've done a reverse marinade on this. Uh, so since it's already cooked, I've actually let it sit in some olive oil, lime zest, and a little garlic and some salt and pepper. And we're just going to throw that right in, so don't be afraid, it's actually, it's actually cooked, it's ready to go. It's just going to give it a little bit of flavor, uh, since I bought it already cooked and I don't think they put any seasoning with it. So next we have a red onion, I've cut it in half, and so I'm going to dice it really small, uh, so I'm going to leave this little stem end on, sometimes you don't have to. But I'm going to show you how to cut this. So you go inside the onion first, it's a three step process to dice an onion, and then you rotate it cut it lengthwise, and the wider you spread these out, the larger your dice will be. And kind of get it together, and the third step, just cutting it horizontally again. All right, so then we're just going to put this, I have a bowl of arugula or rocket. I really like it, it's my favorite salad green. It has a slightly peppery flavor, and I think it'll go really nicely with this. So um, next, I'm just going to cut up some cilantro or coriander. I'm always a fan of keeping the stems on. I don't think it's necessary to always peel the leaves off because if you cut it up finely enough, you won't even notice them. You can grab out the big pieces if you see them. So we're just going to do kind of a fine chop. I actually like the, the leafy texture as well. So whatever you feel most comfortable with. And the funny thing is, is you either like cilantro or you love it. All right, I'm sorry. No, you either love it or you hate it. And it's actually been linked to a genetic trait that you're either genetically uh, born to like it or to hate it. So don't judge people who don't like it. I happen to love it. So let's see if that couscous is ready. So as you can see, it's just completely absorbed all that water. And we're going to go ahead and just dump this right in. It's okay that this is a little warm. It's going to wilt the arugula a little bit, but that's okay. Arugula takes to wilting pretty well. Next thing I'm going to do is just pour my shrimp right in there. I've already got the olive oil and some lime zest. And we're just going to add a little bit of avocado. So I've cut my avocado in half. Just be very careful if you do this way because you can stab your hand. To so just be careful and really, really know and I'm just going to flip it in there like that. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. This is all over the place. Here we go. There we go. And I'm going to top it with a little more avocado. And now season just with a little salt and pepper. I try to season everything at the last minute just because it still gives you that salty flavor without adding salt all the way through so you get a lower sodium intake. And now we're just going to add some olive oil and some lime juice. So I'm just going to cut my lime in half. Cilantro and lime, if you're a Mexican food fan, they go hand in hand together. So I'm just going to give this a good squeeze with my citrus squeezer. Just like so. And we're just going to give this whole thing a toss. And now you can actually serve this when the couscous is still kind of warm or you can wait till it's cold or room temperature. So let's just plate this. This is so yummy. And shrimp is a really good low calorie source of protein if you are watching what you eat. And that is good. You can just garnish with a little more avocado if you choose. 
And once again, I'm Bonnie Muirhead, and I've just showed you how to make a shrimp, avocado, and couscous salad.